game day here right here in Clarksdale, Mississippi. We're here right now with the head coach of the Calm Mighty Tigers, Coach Michael Stringer. How you doing, Coach? I'm doing good, Mr. How about yourself? I'm pretty good, pretty good. I, I tell you, the start, four-game stand, you had a good start on Monday against Mississippi Delta, and now tonight a huge one against the top team in the Mac JC North, Northeast Mississippi. Yeah, we was able to pull off that win with uh, Mississippi Delta, great coach ball club, and Coach Frears, he's doing some great things over there. But we got a different opponent coming in uh, on, on tonight. We have Northeast, uh, I think we was over there, they beat us by seven points, but you never, the scoreboard never can indicate how well the game was played. I think we had a five-point lead with about eight minutes to go. We just didn't finish the game, but Jordan O'Neill, he, he uh, went down in foul trouble. I think when he went down in foul trouble, we had a little, little issue with that, but I think where the guys are playing now with a different spirit, I think we come into the game and just be ready to play. And it was a really good ball game, indeed. It was it was almost it was one sided first half with Northeast, but a good comeback by the Tigers and a buzzer beater almost beyond half court for CP Page sparked y'all. Y'all had like a ten point lead in the second half. Northeast comes back to win, but at the same time, we know what Northeast is capable of doing. What you can take from that last meeting, only losing my seven going into tonight's game. Well, we just we can play with anybody. That's the first thing we take from the game. We can play with anybody. I think we, uh, in the first half, I think we were just only down three points. The score was 32-35 going to intermission. I think you're right where you need to be. That's just one or two plays away and a couple of free throws here and there. C.P. Page, I think he got a steal at the uh, half court and threw it up, and we was down by three at halftime. Came in, had a good showing in the first ten minutes of the uh, second half. But we just yet we just got to put together a whole whole game. Even with the game on on uh, Monday night against Mississippi Death, I think we got a 21 point lead. And every great team gonna go on the run, which we understand. But we got to make sure we withstand the stand. I mean, withstand the run and keep on pushing and keep on moving and just keep locked in. And I know the bright side of it, and you talked about it. Uh, the biggest thing is you finished it, and I know you want to finish better, but free throws was key, and y'all did very, very well, over eighty percent on the line. Well, we've been working on free throws every, all year long. Those guys just came in, but we had a different spirit in practice. Uh, we came in focused and ready to fight and uh, had a lot of fire and intensity. We just went in that game, just refused to lose. And I think that's the attitude we need to have each and every night. Just coming to the game, refuse to lose and give all you got. I think we're right where we need to be with everybody. Uh, at this point last year, I think we we was one game out of uh, out of it. But right now, going into the mark, tonight's game, we have an opportunity to, to be tied for third and actually uh, tied with third with Northwest. And we actually beat them and they coming in on Monday night. So we control our own destiny. We're just playing one of the top teams in MACJC. They coming off a big win they beat east mississippi about 40 some points so uh that's after a loss uh the mississippi delta beat them so they're gonna come in fired up no one's gonna give us anything we just got to come in ready to fight and ready to keep on pushing and, and be ready to be ready to just go to war and 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 look and you're and looking at it and you're absolutely right 40 point win that's a huge statement win against a good east mississippi team and then the anthony tipler and that's the one player Last year, you took him down, shut him down, held him to probably no points, and now he's coming in after a 41-point game. And what you guys need to do to slow him down? Really, just limit his touches and try to make him just uncomfortable a lot, just get into him a lot. But he's a great player. It's hard just, just completely shut down a great player. He just does so many things to, um, to to affect the game. Not only did he have 41 points, he had six rebounds and six assists and four steals. So he affects the games in a lot of ways, but he's their number one player. So what we got to do is just come in and be ready to fight and just just just, just, just match his intensity, just just come ready and be ready to compete and try to just try to slow him down and try to limit his opportunity. But they not, they don't not only have Tipler, they have some other kids that some great players as well. Uh, he just he just the, the big kahuna on that team, that's per se. Uh, he can do a lot of great things. He did come up with a 41-point game, but we just got to do that, uh, do a better job to try to limit his touches. I think over there he had 12 points on 5 for 16 shooting, so I think it's pretty good, but we just got to make sure we do what we're supposed to do. I'm not so concerned about North East, as long as we consistent at here at Coma Community College. And looking at, you know, like you mentioned, your team, how the flow of things before uh, Monday's game, I seen it myself and everything. The word for this team has been transition, yeah. and there's been a lot of transition with the team. It seems like now there's starting to be a lot more focus. We will this team have a have that kind of same approach going into third into tonight's game. It seems like you know before Mississippi Delta they wore their special shirts, looked like they was in unison, looked like they were ready and together, and it looks like the guys they they really want to get things done. I really don't want to make nobody misunderstand the, the, what we're trying to do here. We're just really just trying to get some great kids to play hard, to give all they got, and leave it all on the floor. Um, 
I think every time we come out with a win, everybody think we're playing a lot different, think, think we're going to change a lot of things up. But sometimes the scoreboard can indicate. Some, some games we're going to play well, and some games other teams don't play well. And some teams we're going to play uh, not well, some teams other play well. And that's, that's the story of basketball, you know, each and every given night. It's just who come to play each and every given night. I think we did a great job. The kids came in and played hard. And that was the difference in the game. We just, we just didn't get bullied. We came in with a lot of dog and intensity and fight. We just refused to lose that fight on, on Monday night. So we got to come with the same intensity. You know, A lot of times we come in with a game, we end up winning the game. A lot of people say we played so much better, we did so much better subbing, we did so much better coaching, and they did so much better playing. But that's a collective effort among everybody. Even when you win, lose, or draw, sometimes you play well and lose. So you just got to stay consistent and keep doing what you're doing. You know what you're capable of doing. Just whatever you, whatever you can do best, you just need to bring that to the table. We know that Jordan uh, O'Neal's the best player, but at the same time, it seems like a lot of players recently has been stepping up, like C.P. Page, like uh, Cornelius Holly making some plays on Monday. But then what was scary on Monday, the play of Kendall Richardson, the way his leadership and his determination, where he came and played hard to lead Cajon and scoring, and then the play of Cortez McCarty getting a double-double, and that is real big because it seemed like he's been getting better averaging double figures lately. Well, I told every parent here, uh, they got to trust the process. Their kid going to get better here. It just got to take time. We just putting these kids in a lot of positions they're not accustomed to being in. But but once they understand the concept and what and grasp what we're trying to teach them about teamwork and, and improving each and every day, I think things are getting well. We did, we are impressed with uh, Poopo Richardson. I mean, Kendall Richardson. He's doing some great things for us. He shot the ball well. Uh, actually, Cortez McCarthy he wasn't rebounding the ball early on, and he just had a good rebound in the game. I think he had 18 points, 11 rebounds, and that's always a plus. But he's been one of our most consistent players each and every night. You know what he's going to give. He just keep getting better and adding to his game. He's going to be a star one day. And I just see stardom written all over that young man. Uh, he came in. Didn't have limited uh, offers, but came in, gave him a shot here at Coma Community College, and now he's just taking advantage of the opportunity that he have, and each one of them getting better. And Poopoo Richardson, uh, my hat goes out to that young man. That man did doing well in the classroom as well as on the court. And I told him, I've been talking to him every day, as long as you stay disciplined, do the best you can on everything you do, the sky's the limit, no matter where you come from, no matter your circumstances, all you got to do is keep pushing and keep fighting. But I'm proud of all of the guys. And it was amazing how Richardson uh, got hurt but came back in the game, and then he refused not to sit. He wanted to come in and help y'all win. Well, that's the determination that you're going to need to be, be, be a college athlete because, really, it's the difference between being hurt and injured. When you're hurt, you still can play. When you're injured, you just can't play. And he understand what we're trying to teach him. He just got a little hurt, got a little banged up here and there. And he did step to the plate and said he, he wanted to get back out there. And I was just pressing, glad that he wouldn't really step up to the plate and come in and help his team win. Uh, my man, Holly, Kanish Holly's coming in. Uh, he had a different spirit in the game on, on Monday night. Uh, you saw the real main man come out. I think he had 14 points, and actually he only played about 22 minutes, so that's great. He was in foul trouble early. But I think with, with that, it's just about, about the spirit that you come in with. I think you just – Come in ready to play and stay on ready. You ain't got to get ready. You got to stay cocked and loaded at all times. Last question, Coach. Um, a lot of improvement the last couple of years with your squad and everything. You're close to getting the eighth victory that you had last year. And getting it already early, that is huge. But it's a sign that the team is coming up. A win on Thursday. What would what a win against Northeast? What would this mean to your team? And this would be more of a shot than anything else for postseason. Well, people really just need to understand. Rome wasn't built overnight, and it'll take time. Once you plant a seed, the last thing you get off a tree is a fruit. A lot of times, people want to see you plant a seed today, and you see a tree tomorrow, and the fruits come tomorrow. But it doesn't happen like that. But I'm really impressed by what these guys are. These guys bought into the system. These kids buy in. Some of the kids that wasn't ready to accept the roles and responsibility and, and the things that we're putting on them. So a lot of those kids have to be removed from the team. But you have that in every college program that you have across the country. A lot of kids, nowadays, we got options now. We got options to leave. We got options to go to other places and things like that. But my thing is, if you don't want to be here, don't be here. But the ones who want those who stay, we'll be champions. And that, that's what we're trying to teach these kids. Uh, you just got to stay, stick it out, and bust your butt each and every day. You know, is it easy? No. But the key is, what you're going to do when it's not easy anymore? That's what determines what kind of man you're going to be. And I think these kids, those are the ones who held on, kept fighting, kept pushing, and understand the reason why we get on them every day, the things that we're saying every day now, they done bought in. So they're getting a little consistency, though. And I think that's the main thing, just buying in. Once you buy in, you can get consistent because you're going to be trying to do the things that coach needs you to do in order to get better before you can go to the next level. And I tell you, man, this is a game for you from Coach Stringer himself, absolutely free. So 
can't take that with you right there. It's a serious message. Oh, but <laughs> All right, thank you, Mr. Jones. But at the same time, you know, you look at it, Northeast, they have, they've lost three straight in the Delta. So that that that's big coming in this game. It'll be huge if you get it done. Still got some games to go. Still got a big-time shot in the MACJC Conference. Come on out tonight. Big game. Kahoma Northeast. Be there. Game two of a four-game homestand, man. This is a big one, man. Coach Michael Stringer, thank you so much. All right, thank you, Mr. John. I just look at it like this. You just keep getting better. Win, lose, or draw. As long as you keep getting better, the sky's going to be the limit. As long as you're getting better, the win's going to come. You just got to trust the process and keep them supporting and understand what we're trying to do. And thanks a lot. See you there. But tomorrow, tomorrow we got um, college game day here on the campus of Coma Community College at the Pinnacle. Uh, free food, drinks and live entertainment, as well as music. Come on out and support the CCC Tigers and the Lady Tigers starting at 5.30. Uh, the program starts at 1 o'clock. Come on in and support the Tigers. Thanks.